derivations um, in this video. So now we substitute the Newton's law of viscosity um, that I, I, into these equations that we derived earlier for the uh, liquid uh, phase 1 and liquid phase 2. Then we can integrate this. And also the one on the second phase once we integrate we have this expression in the first phase And the expression for the second phase. Then we need to utilize um, another three boundary conditions. The BC2 is that at x equals 0, the velocity in the liquid phase 1 should be equal to the velocity in the liquid phase 2 or the velocity should be continuous. BC3 at x equal minus b, the liquid is in contact with the solid so the velocity should be zero likewise at x equal plus b the velocity of the liquid phase 2 should be equal to zero okay and so if we go back here up again um into these things in here um this one in here is a point of zero 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 and the one in here in the bottom is minus b the one on top in here is plus b. Okay. Um, then we can go back down again. Then we can deduce from the bc2 that c2 at the phase 1 is equal c2 at the phase 2 is equal c2. And then from bc3, Zero equal minus P not minus P L two mu X and L B square plus C one over mu X and B plus C two. This equations in here we term as equation A and then from B C four. We have another equation. This one with term B. Okay. 
and then we can get a minus b if we uh, if we uh, basically subtract equation a with equation b then we will get this So this one will be P0 minus PL over 2L B square. Then we can move one of the term into the... Um, right hand side basically and then this term in here cancel with this term in here then we get C1 is equal minus P0 minus PL B divided by 2L. Then this C1 we can substitute to A. If we substitute to A, then we will get an expression for C2. That is your C1, so that means your C2 will be you put it in that term into into the C1 multiplied by minus P not minus PLB divided by 2L then you will have this P not minus PL
then this term in here can be cancel with this uh, I think I make a mistake in here this is supposed to be positive okay um, then continuing again we have now known that our C2 will be equal to P not minus PL B square divided by 2 mu X and L 2 mu X and divided by mu X and plus mu uh, double um, accent and then um, so this one will be our C2 basically then because we have these expressions in here then we can find that the resulting momentum flux profile is equal to tau xz equal to po minus pl per divided by l x po minus pl b divided by 2l uh, this term in here so this will be equal to p not minus pl b divided by l x over b minus half so once we get this um, momentum flux we can also get the expression for the velocity profile the resulting velocity profile will be a bit of course it's a bit longer than the um, momentum flux profile and we still have one term remaining which can be simplified into this term Okay, so that one is the velocity in the velocity of the liquid phase one and the velocity in the liquid phase two can also be determined. and this term in here we can cancel this term in here okay and we multiply by the viscosity on the second liquid phase So if I continue on the if I focus on this particular term in here, then um, this particular term in here will change into this.
Okay, so then your Vz will be equal to P0 minus PLB square divided by 2 mu double accent 2 mu Okay, so far we have um, determined the momentum, the resulting momentum flux profile, and then the resulting velocity profile. If we finish up to here, um, you can. I will not go and derive uh, all the other quantities of interest because it will involve a very lengthy mathematical derivations. But uh, you can find it in in the note that I attach in the in my canvas page for this particular example as you can see in here after we derive the momentum flux and the resulting velocity profile then uh, we can check for example in here we can check where the shear stress becomes zero okay and then we can also check the the magnitude of the of the shear stress at x equal minus b um, and then we can also determine the average velocity in each layer for example okay um and following the derivations, you um, I think you can you can check and um, and see if whether my derivations is correct or not. Okay, um, thank you for listening to this video. With this, I conclude um, the video for this example.